When I go shopping for slimes, the one thing I notice a lot is scam slimes. If you aren't familiar with the concept, people take all the information and listing photos of genuine websites and make these fake profiles with pretty much no sales, no reputation and no reviews and this is because they're fake. I thought it would be really fun to buy those products but also the genuine products and compare what you would get if you were buying the real thing. First up to put it to the test, we have Bookshelf Slimes and her Taro Confetti Krispies. This is a really fun slime, it's a white glue base, it's coloured purple and then it has lots of add-ins. This slime is known as a slushy slime because it's full of little pellets and these pellets create these great little air pockets in the slime like you can see when you're pulling it up. It just traps a lot of air in which makes for a lot of crunchy sounds so the ASMR is really amplified and people really like it and also these pellets aren't tough on your hands so it's still really soft to play with. My first thought when looking at the scam slime was why does this look like it has holes in it and I thought maybe it was like a different type of bead they used and then it became very clear to me that these were actually water beads. If you aren't familiar with water bees, they're also commonly known as Orbeez. This was not the Orbeez brand, I'm pretty sure. But like you can see, these are like cloudy beads. And pretty much how they get their moisture is just by absorbing everything that's around them. So if they're put in water, they'll absorb all the water. And then if they're put in slime, they will absorb any liquid in it. So we're just left with a really tough component of PVA. It did not feel like slime at all. It was a purple color. It wasn't as vibrant as the real slime. But like you can see here, all the beads fell out. So the slime was left so, so small completely not worth the money and like you can see here when I'm trying to mix it in it's not cooperating it isn't kind of adding moisture back the beads are just falling out further which is a far stretch from the actual slime which is actually known for having no fallout whatsoever and this was just great it had a lot more color in it obviously it still had the moisture in it and this was also scented like cake whereas the Orbeez one was not scented Next up we have one of her best sellers, Tea and Sugar. Now I want to mention first and foremost that this is not in the best condition because I've had this for months. I love this slime and I play with it all the time so it's actually super cloudy. It's probably got some dust in there as well but the normal version is a lot more clear than this. This slime is a clear based sugar scrub slime. Now this is a lot tougher on your hands especially if you have long nails. This probably is not the slime for you. To get this out of the container is an absolute mission even if you have short nails. I normally just get my finger and I go around the bottom of the container and just scoop it out until I've got all the slime out and then I just am very very careful with playing with it. It can scratch you, it's not like painful to play with, it just is a kind of like coarser material I guess so that is something to keep in mind but I love this slime it creates the best crunches so so good and especially with clear slimes I just find that it pockets the air a lot better so it ends up really really great. I thought maybe the first scam slime was a fluke and it would have been like rectified in the second one but alas it was not. We are left with a white glue base instead of a clear glue base. Again we do not have the right beads these aren't even close because in the previous one I thought maybe because there were some rainbow beads and confetti beads, they were trying to emulate that. But in this one is all clear beads and this is not even close to what they look like. So I was annoyed, there were definitely more so maybe they were trying to make up with that. But like you can see, it just left the slime very porous, not slime like at all. And it dried out entirely and really felt like a plastic version of PVA glue. And PVA glue is biodegradable so it shouldn't feel plastic at all. Moving on to the next seller, we have Nutella Gloss from Corn With Slime and their Scam Slime Shop. Now I have tried the Scam Slime Shop before, I've had a mixed experience so I wanted to give it another shot with her best seller, Nutella Gloss. Now this is a gorgeous, thick, clicky and also just so rich in its colour. One of my favourite things about her container and this slime is how easily the slime pops out so it holds the shape very well and it's just such a joy to play with. The packaging makes the slime so much less appealing than it genuinely is. I 
will never understand why it isn't easier to just go out and buy something a bit cuter than this but this is what it ended up looking like at first it wasn't very nice but after it sat it was just so glossy it was huge as well I decided to measure it out in eight ounce deli containers I think it works out to be a tiny bit less than 24 ounces which was such good value like you can see it is really glossy and the next test was just to fluff them up and see if they made nice bubble crunches like you can see this is the original it retained its color very well it still looks so appealing and this is what the scam slime looked like it looked really really gross when it was puffed up I don't know why the color looks super off as well I didn't love it in this state but when it was just like fresh it was really good and it was really gorgeous but the original was scented and the scam slime was not so I think that's the main determining factor between how good they are as well as the scam slime just not being particularly thick but both of these were good I was happy with both of these Cornwood Slimes is particularly famous for their savoury slimes and they execute these so well and this is Chicken Alfredo. Now I can't eat dairy so sometimes the smell of dairy makes me feel really nauseous and I was worried that this would be the case with this one and it was kind of at first but then I got used to it and it smelled so good. It was so creamy and it smelled so legit. Whenever slimes like this come with add-ins I do like to add the add-ins and let them sit just to see if any of them leak. The colours did not leak, it just sank to the bottom and this was generally just such a pleasant slime. I I love the texture it was kind of like a mix of clear and white and yeah it just felt really gummy and good and the scam slime just didn't look very appealing at first I didn't like how it looked in the bag and also the green leaked and this was so unappealing I wasn't really sure if it was like moss at first and like you can see it was just like something that dissolved in and I'm not entirely sure what it is but this turned the slime green and like chicken alfredo isn't green unless you're maybe adding spinach but even then like it just, it was so unappealing. It was really nasty in comparison with the previous one. Next up I have a slime shop I've never tried before and this is Slime Yoda. This was really fun for me because I know that her two most exciting textures are the ones that inflate a lot, i.e. butter slimes, and also her thick slimes. So they're the two we're going to be trying out today. The first one is a butter fizz. So on the bottom it has a fizz layer and this is made of plastic snow and clear glue. And on the top we have a butter layer. And this is made with a clay that's kind of has like a wet residue. So if you don't like that I wouldn't recommend it. But I really like how these two textures merge together. It wasn't scratchy at all because the butter just completely negated that. The Scam Slime version was very similar in terms of aesthetics but very different in terms of texture. So we did have the butter slime layer on top but weirdly enough this was the same colour but it had loads of like dried up bits of clay in there and I don't know if this happened in transit because it literally was the exact same colour so it must have been the same clay because I don't think that this is dye because typically in clays you just dye it with the clay. So on the bottom the next thing I noticed was that it did use a clear slime but instead of using a plastic snow it used instant snow and this makes all the difference because this makes a jelly slime layer on the bottom instead of a fizz layer and this was interesting because the butter slime obviously has the clear in there so it has the same type of base but jelly slime and butter slime makes this like frosting texture and obviously the butter slime and the fizz makes a butter fizz so it's kind of more crunchy and a lot more textured on your hands. Both were absolutely lovely though and I really like the containers that the scam slime came in as well as the original. <laughs> 
Next up, I finally got to try her really thick slimes and this is Oreo Mocha Shake Thicky. Now this comes with loads of jars of chips on the top. There's some black ones and also some purple ones. And like you can see, your hands just sink in and the slime is so, so glossy. Now this is a really unusual texture. It's very different from the other thick slimes I've tried. Of course it's thick, but this holds its shape so perfectly. I think this would be great for like photography because literally I'll put it in this blob and I feel like most other slimes will expand and this just stayed in place and even the pokes were just so defined in it whereas the scam slime it had a lot more like glitter in there there was definitely some like glitter at the bottom of her one but like you can see although it has the java chips it's just a very very different texture and it's so so jiggly and I don't know if this is just because like too much glycerin has been added because this stretched really well and that doesn't happen in normal jiggly slime so I think that they tried to make it thick it went wrong and they just sent it out anyway which is fine but like you can see it's just a very different texture and it definitely isn't worthy of the name Thicky unlike the original Next up we have Slime Obsidian's Unicorn Ice Cream. Now this is one of my favourite slimes from Slime Obsidian shop. Like you can see it comes with this beautiful iridescent topping and also a unicorn charm. And the slime is tri-coloured. It comes pink, purple and blue. And this was really great. It didn't mix in transit for me and I'm an international buyer so this was really great for me. And when it mixed up it created this really gorgeous vibrant purple and the colour was just so so pretty as well as having the best texture and also an amazing scent. The scam slime was also tricolored, and this came in purple, pink, and blue. This was just very different tones and also a very different appearance. This has come in cling form before, so I wasn't particularly shocked by this because I've ordered a few times from them before. But generally, their cloud slimes are really good, and this was not good. It was so tough, and it could just be because England's freezing at the moment, so all my slimes are freezing. But like you can see here, it did end up making a drizzle eventually, but there was just so much fallout with this. I feel like every single time I was touching it more and more snow was ending up on my hands and this was really gross. Blue Sangria Jelly is the next slime up. Now this was a very interesting one from the Scam Slime and by interesting I mean awful. It leaked all over the package which I like kind of expected in this container but also the slime in the actual cling film dried out so this is the slime. It had firmos, it was blue, but I can't really do much because it literally did not come out of the cling film because it had all dried. So it was really frustrating. But this is the real slime. Like you can see, it's a cloudy jelly. He has some clear ones, some cloudy ones. This is definitely a cloudy one, but it's still super juicy and I love the color of it. Kind of reminds me of like the Fiji like waters. And also the bottom of it was just so nice with all of the firmos on there. I just thought it was such a nice contrast of colors and I love the Hawaiian scent to this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.